Hello guys namaste welcome back to Android Tricks if you are an Android enthusiast you might have heard about the gesture based UI which Android P will bring to your smartphones but as we have seen it in the past the majority of the phones won't get the update of Android P for a year or a year and a half now also when they eventually get it many of the skinned OS versions of Android won't have that functionality at all on their smartphones but you know like i always say have no fear when android rex is here in this video i am going to show you how you can get the gesture based navigation system on your android device so without wasting any further time let's get started well to be honest there's nothing much you need to do to get this feature but it is also not as simple as installing the application and running it directly so let me guide you through the process first off you will have to install the application from the link given in the description box below open it and then keep hitting next until you see this error this is where you need to go to your computer or laptop and download the adb files if you don't already have them i again linked them down in the description box below then connect your phone and turn on the usb debugging mode by tapping the build number 7 times from your about phone menu Coming back to the PC, right click on your ADB folder and select open command prompt or open powershell here. Check if your device is already connected by typing ADB devices and then copy paste the command which you will see in the description box below. You can also read it on the screen right now and type it along on your machine. And hit enter once you have written this command. And you are done. For real, that's it. You will now be able to go ahead in the application and toggle it on. You can customize the gestures to your liking by clicking on the gear icon and selecting gestures. In there you can change the actions you want for taps and swipes. I have kept it simple like swiping left for back, swiping up for home and then swiping right for recent app menu. So that's pretty much for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe for more or some videos like this. I definitely wanted this feature on my Android device for a long time now and I'm really happy that I have it now. And that is why I thought of creating this video. Also vote your which video would you like to see next on my channel and I'll upload it within a week. So yeah, see you guys in the next one.